It's a cliche, but it's true. Styles make fights. And in this video, we're going to look at the styles of Yacht IQ, PK Sanchai, and Chad Collins. Particularly, we're going to look at Yacht IQ's counterfighting, Chad's uppercuts, the breaks, the and how each fighter fires themselves up and motivates themselves. So let's get into it. Yacht IQ does some classic things, particularly keeping his weight on the back foot and using his teep to counter Chad. So we'll see it here. There's a leg kick, the push kick off. Again, you see that weight on the back foot. It takes a little hop step to load up that teep. Boom. And we're gonna see the heavy weight on the rear leg. Again here, that little half step back and push off. Then he keeps his frame very much upright. We see it in the second clip as well. His frame is upright all the time. Even when he's moving forward, he's still got that weight on his back foot in that exchange. And then again here, he moves in and shot selects, comes back, puts the weight on that back foot for more timing. Chad uses the uppercut a lot against Yacht IQ, and it's one of the most underutilized punches in Muay Thai, especially by Thai fighters. So we're going to look at a few instances. He sets it up with that overhand and then comes in at an awkward angle for that uppercut. The uppercut lands right on the bottom of the chin. Again, there's that setup lead hand and then the uppercut. It causes him to be at odd angles at times, which opens him up for that left body kick. You're going to see it a few more times. There's that left body kick from Yad IQ, but he off balances himself what as well but it lands very effectively repeatedly you see even in the later parts of the fight chad is landing that uppercut just because it's such an unusual punch so and it's the angle really that helps him to neutralize it yad iq just starts tying up with chad you see here there's that tie up Again, he's just backing away from it. Another big difference is in the breaks. You see Yad IQ using more stalling techniques, wrapping the leg around Chad and stalling in the clinch. Here's one of the examples of him wrapping the leg. We see it right there, and then Lawler comes in for the break, pulling them apart. So we're gonna see another uh, wrap here with the left leg of Yad IQ, there's the arrow. A little hard to see, but it's there. Then this one, he grabs hold and he hangs on for a long time because he's breaking, he's tired, and you see Lawler get mad at him. The last instance of the difference is the way Western athletes fire themselves up. They will smash their hands together. You see it a lot with Chad, both before and after exchanges when he's trying to come in or he might be frustrated. He'll smash his gloves together. It's not a big deal, but psychologically it fires people up. This is different from Yad IQ, who will pray, who will bounce off the ropes and be looking a bit more relaxed. Here's another prayer.